Hello kids and welcome to ABC Art Education Development Center. For today, as you noticed, we have a new face <laughs> with us. So, Mr. New Face, can you please introduce yourself? Hi kids, I'm Peter Yang and for today's video, we will be showing you on how to make your own star group and how to draw them step by step. Okay, let's go! Yay! Teacher Yang is drawing some lines, as you can see on the screen. So, why are you drawing lines, Teacher Yang? Well, mm, I am making these lines because I am doing a warm-up for my wrist, hands, and shoulder. This is a very good warm-up exercise before making some drawings. Especially if you are using a pen tablet. But most artists still do warm-up exercises even if they are using pen and paper. And sometimes I put some dots and connect them with a line. Like this. This is how I draw a straight line. And this is a good exercise for making straight lines. Sometimes I also draw circles using force from my shoulder to my arm. This is a better way of doing circles. For drawing short lines, you can use your wrist, but for longer lines or strokes, you have to use your arms and shoulder. Because if you use only your wrist in drawing long lines, you will end up having hair-like strokes instead of the one long line. Well, I think I'm already warmed up. And I'm ready to make my own storybook. Okay, so Teacher B may I ask you a question? Yes. What is the first thing that you should think about before making your storybook? Well, I think about the title of my storybook. Well, of course, title is the very first thing that you should think about mm -hmm. on making your own storybook. Yes. And speaking of title, there are so many stories and things that you can use as title for your storybook. Yes, that's right, Teacher Ying. So your storybook can be about you, or what you like to do, or about your family, or your pet if you have one, or even one of your friends like my friend here, Teacher Princess. Mm, for my storybook, I think the title will be um, This Is Me. Now that I have my title, I will think about the main character and that's me. So I'm now drawing a guide for my face using basic shapes like square, lines, and circles. And if you are a beginner, you can simplify your drawing by making a simpler character. If you're a girl, you can draw a girl character to represent you. For me, because I'm a guy, I am drawing a male character too. So now that you already have your main character, Teacher Yang, what's next? Well, let me think. I think I will include my hobbies on my start. Ooh! So, what are your hobbies, Teacher Yang? Well, actually, I have so many hobbies. And um, for my storybook, I'll just include drawing and cooking.
So kids, you can include as many hobbies on your storybook as you like. You can draw them all so that the person reading your storybook will know that these are the things you love to do. So, what else can we put in the storybook, Teacher Yang, mm -hmm. aside from our hobbies? Mm, let me think. I can include my love for traveling or going to the beach. Here, I am drawing the things that I must bring to the beach. So, what are those things, Teacher Yang? Well, I can bring a beach ball, a shovel, so I can make sand castles, my floaties, umbrella to protect me from the sun, and most importantly, food. Um, so relaxing. I miss the beach. Other than the beach, I can also include other places like when I'm in the park. So, what do you do in the park? I love buying ice cream in the park and buying balloons for my kids. I love to enjoy nature like the trees and the fresh air in the park. Wow, that sounds so fun, Teacher Yang. Yes. So kids, did you hear that? You can absolutely include other places like your favorite restaurant, mall, tourist spots, and more. Are those all the things we put in our storybook or can we include more? Well, it's really up to you. If you want a long story, you can put as much as you like. But for me, I am now ending my storybook here. The last part of my storybook is when I'm at home. My favorite area is the living room because I can play computer games and watch TV with my family. Alright kids, that ends up my storybook. And for those who are using a digital pen tablet like what I'm using here, you can save your uh, works and uh, have it printed and have it binded. And also for those who are using a pencil and paper, you can also compile the pages and also have it binded. Yes, that's right. Also, don't forget to include your storybook cover pages for your front cover and your back cover. And if you want to improve your story making and your illustrations for your storybook, you can enroll here with us at ABC Art Cebu. We are currently offering online art classes for image art, English education, and digital art like digital drawing, calligraphy, and coloring. Yes, that's right. And if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you want to see more of our videos, just tap that subscribe button yes. to be updated. And for more storybook samples and pictures, please visit our Facebook page. That's facebook.com forward slash Cebu ABC. Don't forget to like and share. See you in our next video. Bye. Bye. Camera action! <laughs> <laughs>
I'm <laughs> 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 <laughs>